<laughs> get in the flutter main. Guess what's going down this turn? <laughs> it guess it rhymes with Schmeyer and Bundle. <laughs> It rhymes with Schmeyer and Bundle, and it's dying this turn. Oh, wait, that, that went crazy. That went kind of crazy. I cannot tell a lie. I cannot tell a lie. That went crazy. Do I live this? Those I'm not going to sugarcoat it, guys. This is going to be a fun one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. So, um, I built this team like five... 10 minutes ago. Well, that's a lie. I, I built this team like an hour and a half ago, and then I went and I did the thing. But um, since then, I played in the Showdown Room Tour to test it out before I made a, a quick little video about it. Um, and it's really fun. So yeah, basically, we're going to be using a, a Wind Rider Bramblegast for this video. It's going to be a fun little time. Uh, not a super serious laddering session, but more just I want to build something cool. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this standpoint and time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my comment question of the day, which is, what is your favorite new ability in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I feel like there are a lot of fun wind-related ones, and by that I mean two being Wind Power and Wind Rider. Maybe I'll do a Kilowattro video next week. Anyways, so what I'm running today is going to be this Life Orb Bramblegast. It's Terra Fire, and has Terra Blast, Shadow Sneak, Power Whip, and Phantom Force. Now, something interesting I want to point out is we do have 29 HP IVs. And the reason we're doing that is because um, it's actually optimal to have an HP stat that isn't divisible by 10 when you're using Life Orb. And the best way to go about doing that wouldn't be to decrease my, um, was it decrease my attack stat and then get like nine? Because I think nine is actually technically the best number for it. Um, that's just the way the math works out. But the most efficient way to do it is to give myself 252 attack and decrease my um, HP IVs to 29 to give me 129 HP. So the reason I'm doing this is because Bramblegast is already a Pokemon that is susceptible to getting one shot. And technically speaking, I have a better survivability um, when using the Life Orb if I decrease the damage I take off of every Life Orb hit, which you do that by ending your HP set in nine. It's weird math. Anyways, I don't want to get too into it. That's just how it works. Um, there is actually um, a great Tusk team that did super well at a tournament in like Series 2 that also had a, a decreased IV to uh, get to optimal Life Orb. So yeah, speaking of Tusk, we have a Choice Scarf Great Tusk with Close Combat, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Headlong Rush. Oh, I should probably mention this. We're Terrifier. Um, because I just think it's going to be really fun in the sun to one-shot things with that move. You know, cool. Um, but yeah, we're running standard Terra Steel, Great Tusk. We have an Eviolite Murkrow, and this Murkrow is actually going to be one point faster than our Bramblegast, because what that allows us to do is versus Fluttermane, we can one-shot Fluttermane with plus one Shadow Sneak. Because both of these are going to be priority moves, it's dependent on speed which one goes first. So Tailwind going first gives us that attack, uh, that attack boost before we Shadow Sneak. Um, we also have Foul Play, Sunny Day, and Icy Wind. I did have Haze on this, but I ended up just moving Haze to Chen Pao because I think it's easier to slot it onto that Pokemon. And the speed uh, will help us out, or the, the speed dropping of Icy Wind will help us out quite a bit in a lot of games. Uh, the Bramble Guest is also just enough speed to outspeed Iron Bundles um, with the Tailwind up, so that allows us to one-shot it with Power Whip. We have Bulky Fluttermane, you know, just a really fat set. We're faster than Mouse Hold, and we're special attack boosting with the sun up. Choice Specs, Terra Fairy, you know the deal. We're Focus Sash, Terra Flying, uh, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch Protect, and Haze, Chen Pao. And we have a very funny Eject Pack Torkoal. It rhymes with Schmimid Nature. Um, it is 100 HP, 172 special attack, 236 speed. Basically, under a Tailwind, we can outspeed Golden Go and Great Tusk and one-shot them with Overheat. That is what it does. It also lets us switch out. We have Helping End and Earth Power as our last two moves. Anyways, let's get into it. So, for those of you who were in the showdown room tour that I won, back me up in the comments section if this video goes really, really bad, uh, because it did it did do fine. <laughs> it did do fine earlier. We can we can win with this. I just have to not play bad. All right. So we are facing a snow team. Also, our place on the ladder isn't that high. We're like mid 1400s. Um, we're just going to deal with it. Can you open up your team sheet for me? D D Dana Arky Danarchy Danarchy Danarchy. Okay. Um, spelled wrong though. I, I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be pronounced Danarchy, but I think it's Danarchy. All right. 
So versus this, I actually really like the Bramblegast and Murkrow lead because I can kind of have a one shot versus this thing if I tear a fire. It's going to be a little difficult though. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll bring the Fluttermane in the back and I think my last Pokemon, kind of a toss up between Tusk or Torkoal. Um, I'm leaning towards Tusk because it's going to be harder to get my sun up otherwise. Or, but it's going to be uh, harder to get my sun up otherwise because I might lose my Murkrow turn one. Let me see. There's specs on the Iron Bundle, so one would imagine. I think I go Torkoal. Yeah. Oh, their booster speed. That's pretty bad for me, to be honest. Um, do they have Icy Wind on that by any chance? No, but we can definitely eat a hit from this thing. So I am just going to Terra Fire Power Whip and Tailwind immediately. Please one shot. Oh, no. All right. Well, being immune to Blizzard is pretty baller. I, I'll i be honest. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> can I can I be rude with you guys for a minute? I didn't know it would do that. All right. Uh, let's power up the Obama Snow, assuming it wants to... Um, do I want to assume it Terra Waters? I don't even think it Terra Waters here. Let's just Terra Blast and Overheat. Actually, it's going to Terra Water. I'm going to Power Whip and Overheat. I'm built different. I'm crazy like that. Check this out. All right, well, that's still one shot. Come on, give me this. Bam, he's gone. Great Tusk, also gone. Bam, he's disgustingly gone. Get in the Murkrow, <laughs> or get in the Fluttermane. <laughs> get in the Fluttermane. Guess what's going down this turn? <laughs> I guess it rhymes with Schmeier and Bundle. <laughs> it rhymes with Schmeier and Bundle and it's dying this turn. Oh, wait, that, that went crazy. That went kind of crazy. I cannot tell a lie. I cannot tell a lie. That went crazy. Do I live this? Doesn't matter. We're going to land the nastiest power whip of all time. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I forgot that we're immune to Blizzard. I, I, I'll be honest. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, this ability goes crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Um, It's actually not bad on this game, too. Open up the team sheets, coward. It's not bad in this game, too, because uh, ghost types can switch out. Um, I think I definitely just do this. So it's booster iron bundle. Life Orb Flutter, I can one-shot you. Um, Focus Sash Chi Yu is actually not the best for me, but I get a lot of value out of Tusk in this matchup, I think. I think my last Mon, we can go Flutter. Why not? Why not? All right. They do have Fake Out on this Gothitel. I would like to one-shot this Fluttermane. I don't know. I, I know Power Whip would one-shot at plus one. And I think they want a Terra to prevent me from Shadow Sneak KOing. So I think I'm just going to go for the Power Whip and kind of risk it here. All right, I could have Shadow Snuck. Shree! Gone. Well, they Trick Room. That's not great. <laughs> That's not great. Um, so they actually don't have a move that one shots Bramblegast. So I'm actually somewhat tempted to Phantom Force onto this thing and KO whatever comes in and go into Tusk here. I could also Sunny Day. I'm going to Phantom Force this slot. And I think I just get rid of my Murkrow. So I will go for Sunny Day here. I could also target down you. The more I think about it. Probably wouldn't KO. Let's just Phantom Force the slot and I'm in a Sunny Day. Yeah, that's not KO me. Can I take a Psychic, please? I don't. That's fine. Um. 
So if I go Tusk here, I'm going to have to take a Psychic and another attack, but I think I just cope. Let me think. I, I think if Tusk eats, my play is always just Earthquake here. Maybe I just Headlong Rush you. You do have the option to protect is the issue. Uh, I also don't want to lock Earthquake. All right, let's get rid of you. And I am just going to also foul play. Dream Punch, can I take a Psychic? Tusk? Tusk, I hate you, bro. All right, that's game. All right, GG. Yeah, I mean, I probably should have just called them going for Trick Room, to be honest. But, you know, what am I going to do? Play better? No, that's not me. Is this really... All right, this is going to be that team that actually did fairly well in the first few rounds of... Um, of Portland. I actually forget what's on this team, so I'd appreciate if you would open up the sheet for me, buddy. If not, I'm going to look it up myself. You know what? I'm going to look it up myself. I liked it recently. You're going to open up that team sheet, or I'm going to open up for you. I'm going to open up the team sheet for you. You know, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to post the link to his team, just to let him know. I mean business. Give me a second. I'm being petty. Please open. Please open team sheet. I have the I have the team right here. I have the team right here. You know what? I got the team in front of me. He's not going to open it. All right. So it is... Let's see. So it's clear amulet, rever room, terra water, um, life orb, flutter main with substitute. I actually get a lot of value out of my ramble gas to Murkrow lead, to be honest. Husk in the back is quite good, and I think I just go flutter again. All right. So here, um, I don't like this actually. I don't like this because I don't want to have to burn my Terra to KO or Reverum. But I, Tusk can also deal with Hydreigon. Or actually, I guess not because it's Levitate. Wait, that's kind of bad. I think I'm going to go hard Flutter. Actually, let's just go hard Tusk and um, Tailwind. All right, there's the shift gear. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close combat this Hydreigon because I think, if anything, they want to go ahead and uh, do something with that Rev Room. So I'm going to close combat here and also go harden to Bramblegast. No worries. And now I have to stop being petty. I hate this game. Could also just foul play there to be honest. Oh, he terra poisoned. Okay. So the good news is, um, is there good news here? I don't know if there's good news. If I go flutter here, there's a good chance I can one shot this Rever Room if I double into it. And the, but the Rev Room does have Protect is the issue. I think I just go for it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go for a... Let's Shadow Ball and also go for the um, Shadow Sneak and that should KO, I think. It also Terra Fire, but I don't think it's worth it. Rev Room doesn't have good special defense. I can also Phantom Force if I really want to lock it down, but I'm too scared.
All right, spec should do it here. It didn't do it, guys. I am done for. I am done for, bro. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and just KO it with foul play. I think I should be faster. It's kind of iffy if I'm faster. You know what I do here? I'm going to Sunny Day. And I'm going to Shadow Sneak. I'm going to Sunny Day and I'm going to Shadow Sneak. I am so done. I cannot win this. Um, hopefully he. Uh, hopefully he goes for like a, an iron head in my bramble gas here. Don't go for Murkrow. Poison jab. Don't poison. Thank you. All right. This is winnable, but only barely. Only barely is this winnable. There's Fluttermane. I one-shot you with a Shadow Sneak. Oh, he's booster speed. Shadow Sneak still one-shots, though. Please, Murkrow, be faster. All right, that's fine. All right. He knows that Shadow Sneak one shots. I think that my opponent here is going to try to hard call me out and go for that Tauros. So here, is that worth calling out? I think he would. I don't think it matters though. I think regardless, I still just make the same play. All right, I'm faster. That's a win. Oh my god. <laughs> I had no idea how fast that thing was going to be. So here my play is going to be to land a power whip. My bad, guys. <laughs> Why do I have to land the power whip? I believe in you, Bramblegast. Oh, well, I mean... He has Aqua Jet, and that could one-shot me. But my Murkrow should probably be faster. He wave crashed. I could have tailwinded. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. GG. I thought he was going to Aqua Jet. Yeah, if I tailwinded there, I won. But I, I, Aqua Jet would have KO'd. Alright. Set the team sheets. Um... So Tusk here is obviously in kind of a rough spot. I'm pretty sure that's banded on the Ting Lu. If I can one-shot the Ting Lu. Live on YT. I don't stream on YT. Alright. Yeah, it's Terra Water. So this lead's safe. Get a lot of value out of you. And yeah, just go Tusk. What does that mean? Yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right. So my goal here at this point in the video, because I lost that last game, is I just want to go positive. In this video with the bramble gas because I think he's goofy. I think he's silly and goofy. Right now we're one two. So I'm gonna do two more games. And hopefully I'll end up three and two. That Chen Pao could be very bad for me though. Actually Chen Pao just completely just Nay Nay is on Bramble Guest as a concept. Because I don't know if I even take a Sucker Punch. I could Shadow Sneak it, calling out the Sucker Punch. And possibly win that way. They go Gyarados Orthworm. So, 
I think my play here is going to be, I don't have taunt. Gyarados definitely has Thunder Wave. I could try to Terra Blast in Sunny Day, but that's a huge risk that I am 100% willing to make. I'm simply different. I didn't prevent that at all. It's still it's still going to go through. All right, that's fine. I prevented nothing. I am a fool. A goose even. There's the D knight. Um, let's go. I mean, they're going to want an earthquake, aren't they? I think here my best bet is to go Great Tusk on the Thunder Wave and Foul Play, and then spam Rock Slide the next turn. Because Great Tusks should still be faster than Dragonite. That didn't break. Oh my god. That's really bad. Go for Bulldoze. Speed boost is kind of bad. Or the speed drop's kind of bad. Um. Oh, wait, what do I... Because they're going to Terra Flying here, aren't they? Kind of have to sack Flutter and go for another foul... Or sack Bramble and go for another foul play. Cool. So I do have Thunderbolt, which is going to be nice for this, but they likely have the, um, they likely have the Tinglu in the back is the issue. Thunderbolt doesn't even KO from this range. So I think I have to go Great Tusk and Rock Slide flinch. Rock Slide and Foul Play. There's the Earthworm. Gets KO'd. Nice. Can I get a flinch? Nope. Alright. Fluttermane can come out, though. I now have Thunderbolt, which is kind of scary. But it depends on what their last mon is entirely. They show the Gyarados. Um, the Dragonite doesn't have the option to protect. Gyarados could go for a T-Wave into me. I think my play here is my best shot of winning is going for the Thunderbolt into the Dragonite and just banking on them not having the Tinglu, but I'm like 99% sure they have the Tinglu and I go for Tailwind. All right, show me the Tinglu. Show me the Tinglu. This is where I lose. Oh, it's Fluttermane. Okay. Probably still lose. <laughs> Probably still lose. Unless I get like a full para here. Get a special attack drop. Yeah, it's game. Alright, GG. Alright. Now I just want to go. Now I just want to go even. Let me get two more. <laughs> Now I'm just now I'm just embarrassed, guys. Now I'm just embarrassed. Okay. We're facing yeah, this pretty interesting team. Um just like Sun Offense with a Tyranitar. Why not just do the Bramble lead? Why not? I think I get a lot of value out of Chen Pao this game, to be honest. So we're gonna bring that over the flutter. Um, 
I can one shot this flutter, but I still have no idea what the item is. I'm going to go for shadow sneak and a tailwind. I could Terra fire right now, but the Terra steel late game could win me the game. So I'm just going to bank on it. Not terroring here. Well, they've handed over their flutter, man. Are they going to foul play me? Am I going to lose my bramble? They actually thunder wave and miss. That's pretty huge. Um, yeah, that's really good. Here's the T-Tar. So here, um, I'm actually incentivized to go for a sunny day and a power whip. Still has a huge amount. Wow, I'm gonna get rock slided though. Crunch, ah, that's cool. Okay, Chen Pao comes out. Um, I always go for my ice spinner here because I'm actually immune to thunder wave. And I can just Icy Wind. Nice. Tusk in the back. Go for the Protect. Icy Wind, I think, is my play. Actually, they're usually Scarf. I think, yeah, I, st I think I still do this. They Rock Slide. Don't one-shot me. All right, let me keep my Murkrow and I win. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, we should be fine now. I go for the Ice Spinner and the Tailwind. In this turn, I should be faster than them. Nice. And I just go for Ice Spinner, Icy Wind. Good game. Let me get one really good Bramblegast game. Like, I, the first game was, like, phenomenal for Bramblegast. But, like, and then we had, like, that really close game on game three. And then we got absolutely stomped by Orthworm. So, oh, speaking of Orthworm. John, how are you? This is my buddy. This is my buddy, John Brig. <laughs> Open the team sheet <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, looks like he's also running Wochian. Honestly, no, I just, I continue with my flow chart. In the back here, um, I actually get like a little bit more value. Hartford. Get value out of you and you. Yeah, just do that. Rainbow Gast is, is like a silly little guy. I don't think he's the best Pokemon, but he's silly. Flying Garg. Oh, you took that from me. That's me. I invented that. True facts. Um, so I can threaten that Garg pretty hard. But I have to be careful. I'm just going to go for the Power Whip in Tailwind. I don't really lose much from shooting my shot. I'm going to curse this power whip and check its accuracy. 85. Okay. I'm shooting my shot. Dang. I got nanid. Okay. Um, well, with that in mind, let's power whip and immediately go into... Actually, I think power whip sunny day is fine. I don't think he's going to stay in with this iron bundle. I think he wants to swap it. Probably for Wo Shen. You know what? Play of the game. Play of the game, baby. Play of the game. Goodbye, Wo Chan. <laughs> Don't bring the Wo Chan to Wo Chan's strongest soldier. I know what he does. I know what he's capable of. He only knows love. Wo Chan is the most compassionate Pokemon ever invented. There's Bundle. Um. 
What's this Terra? Ice? Check this out. Based middle ground play. Also go into Tusk so I can spam Rock Slide. Yeah, that's the play. Protect your bundle. He didn't protect the bundle. Wow. <laughs> Phantom Force, Rock Slide. This is my play. Does he have Wide Guard? He does have Wide Guard. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to double out. I think this one shots anyways. <laughs> Doesn't quite do it. Freeze drives me. Nice. All right. Go for this power whip and a dazzling gleam. Because he can't protect this turn. He has to lose the garg. He has to lose this thing. All right, please connect for Amble Gas. This is your time. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Bramble Gas. Thank you. All right. Go for the Tailwind, Dazzling Gleam. I win with Great Tusk. Mr. Tusk, end this man's life. Headlong rush him. GG, well played. That's my buddy. He had to give me a free win for the end game. He, he had to... See, this was all staged. I DM'd him between matches and I said... You know, let me let me make it look cool. <laughs> I, I DM John on Facebook and I said, let me make it look cool, dude. <laughs> all right. So, all right, we're gonna call it there. That was a fun little session. Was it the best? No. Um, but it was still really fun. I mean, like, if you're gonna use Bramble Ghast, I think it's gonna be something like this in Regulation C. Um, so you know, do what you can with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, actually, I think next one I'm going to ladder up to like 1700s, 1800s, and we'll, we'll make it more high stakes of a video. Why not? All right. Have a nice one, guys. Bye.